Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about vital sex and tantric sex. And the topic for this video is five simple ways to play with sexual intensity. You notice that when you're engaging into sex, whether you're in the foreplay zone or actively engaged in intercourse already, you have a certain level of intensity that you can play with. So when it becomes really intense, it's high energy. And then you can drop and be in more rest areas, restful areas. And um, you are going to slow down. Uh, and so there are this, this wave of intensity that you can create and consciously play with them. So I'm going to give you a few hints on how to intensify or slow down your sexual experience and how to bring that to, to your partner. So the first area where you can play with different levels of sexual intensity is when you are kissing. Kisses can be extremely soft, extremely caring, extremely nurturing, or they can be these passionate embraces like two animals engaging with passion. So next time you are kissing your lover, Observe how intense, how much energy is going into your kiss. Is it soft? Is it fiery? Is it playful? Is it even aggressive? You know, we have all these different moods or all these different energy contents, energetic intentions that you can give to your kiss. Try to play with it and observe what happens. The second area where you can play with sexual intensity is in your touch. You know, touch again can be super soft and nurturing. It can be just a hand that you put on, on the face and you touch with lots of softness. Or you can grab the person and press on the energy points and bring them close to you with a firm hold. You know, all these different levels of intensity are going to create a very different experience. So what I encourage you to do is to test the waters with, uh, with your lover. Because different lovers, different people will have different reactions to different levels of intensity. So you are going to experiment and test the waters with different levels of, of uh, pressure in the way you hold them, different ways of kissing and different ways of penetrating or being penetrated. You will see that just with the variations in the amount of energy you are putting into it, in the amount of passion that you are putting into it, it's going to create a radically different experience for, for your partner. And sometimes it can be too intense, so you are going to slow down. And sometimes it's not intense enough. The person is entering into uh, you know, uh, an area or a field which is a bit too slow, and they might want something which is more dynamic and, and passionate. So listen to the signs. Another way to play with sexual intensity is uh, using your voice and the tone of your voice. Like for instance, I can really slow down, play, I'm really enjoying, you know, if you enter into se sexual conversation, I'd be, I'm really enjoying kissing you, touching your lips, feeling the sensations, your beauty, as I look into your eyes, this radiant light, radiant bliss. You see, this is very slow, it's very subtle, but you can also go with something which is much more intense. I just want to take you and bring you back to my place and make love like animals for the rest of the night. You know, it's like you can engage into this um, different levels of, of intensity. You get the picture with the voice, with the tone of your voice, with the intensity of, uh, of, of your, your intention. Another way to play with sexual intensity is to use passion. You know, passion, the fire being released wildly, you can play with totally freeing it and, and going into a passionate embrace or slowing down again. And this has to do with just how much uh, energetic intensity you, you engage internally, how much fire you are bringing to, into your lovemaking. And uh, it's again, it's very important to synchronize um, your uh, your intensity with the intensity of the other person like uh, listen to the signs and try to uh, 
to be in tune with what the other person is, is feeling or the signs that they are giving you. Very often, a very high level of intensity might be too much for your lover or you know, being too slow and too gentle might not be appropriate either. So listen and check in. Very often the best way to connect with your lover is really to match their energy level. You can match the energy level, it means that you listen where they are at and then you start activating a little bit further. Or you can uh, match their energy level, match their intensity. If you have a lover who is really engaging with lots of fire and passion, then follow them into that intensity. Then the moment you might feel like it's time to slow down, you bring them slowly into a different uh, energetic mood. So passion. Another way to play with sexual intensity is to add rhythm to your exchange. You can go really, really fast and play and be like passionate, um, you know, really fast movements, lots of kissing and, and passion, and suddenly poof, you drop it and you slow down and you enter into a state where it's much more peaceful and then you activate again and you play with this wave or with this natural rhythm that your lovemaking is taking you into. So this uh, rhythm that you can that you can add to your lovemaking is is something that is going to create energetic shifts that are going to intensify the uh, uh, your your experience. It's a little bit like night and day. You know, everything in life is made of of rhythm, and uh, if you add this awareness into your lovemaking, the experience is going to be much more uh, powerful as well. So here we go: uh, five simple ways to play with your sexual intensity. Kissing, touch, voice, passion, and rhythm. Have a great time.